Um, the third type of fault is called a strike slip fault. And the strike slip fault is one in which um, there is shearing forces and you can think of it like this where you have one block here And in a strike slip fault, the two blocks have moved in a side by side shearing motion to, and this usually offsets different structures. Like if there was a railroad track, for instance, going through here, that would offset the railroad track. And um, so that's the, the third fault type that I want to talk about, strike slip. This is um, um, pretty standard for a strike slip fault. As you're probably realizing, most faults are um, combinations of different movement types, but there is yet another type that we're going to be learning about, and I want to go over that. Um, the fourth type that I want to talk about today is called um, an oblique normal. fault. Oblique normal fault. And that type looks something like this. where the movement is tension and um, the 
hanging wall is down. So the rock has moved this way. and also down. Like that. So that's the hanging, hanging wall there, and the foot wall here. So instead of just moving um, in a striped slip fashion, it also moves down. The hanging wall also moves down. So it's kind of like a combo, a combo fault. And we're going to be building a model today that um, that represents uh, this situation here. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? All right. 